So welcome to the first part of uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, uh, my playthrough, obviously. Um, so yeah, it's going to be tuned in. I'm going to be playing this the whole way through. Um, so if you, you like it, feel free to stick around, leave a little comment, subscribe, like the video, um, all that usual jazz. So this first part is kind of the audio is a bit messed up. You can kind of tell that the, the game audio is higher than my microphone. And I do apologise about that, it should be fixed for part 2. Um, I have noticed it but it's kind of too late to go back now, I've kind of done the first part so I'm kind of glad that I kind of recorded that, got that out of the way and now we can kind of fix it going forward. Um, that's not an issue, so any suggestions, uh, anything that you would like to see, please comment down below as well. I hope you enjoyed the play. Wow, so um, we're back, but we're playing a playthrough of the new Pokemon a Brilliant Diamond. Um, it's took me a while to get this set up actually, especially when it comes to like uh, the stream delay and stuff like that. So um, if this is a bit off sync then I do apologise, I'll try fix it. But um, it's been a while so as you've seen from the intro we're going to kind of start this and play through it. Um, in no way shape or form am I a 100% expert um, but this is just, it's kind of reminded me of my childhood back in 2006 when this game initially released um, for Nintendo DS. Um, I got it that year for Christmas so um, I remember playing this game, this is going to be kind of like a throwback for me. Uh, obviously it's been a lot, lot more updated, it's on the Switch now so um, I'm buzzing to get really in about it. Um, so. If anybody has any advice, if this street, like, if it is off delay, like if the delay isn't like syncing up correctly, or there's issues with the audio, then please let me know in the comments. Any tips to how to fix it would be great as well. Um, yeah, that's about it. Sorry about the mess in the background. We kind of just came back from holiday, so there's a lot of stuff to be put away. But we move, we move. So let's get into this. So select the language you would like to play in. Obviously, I'm going to be playing in English. You like to start the game in the chosen language? Yes, please. So with this as well, like I'm listening through this on like my PC, so like the the audio is kind of delayed for me as well. If that makes sense, like coming through from the switch, just because it comes through an Elgato. Should be able to see my lovely face now. I'm um, sorry about that. I had to cut. I forgot to turn on my light, and yeah, the camera was kind of angled a weird. Um, angle, so probably one of the cats to be quite fair. I've got two cats, you might see them during this playthrough in the background. But anyway, hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan, however, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Humans. <laughs> we humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle, develop closer bonds with them. And what I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Hey, hey. So it's Professor Rowan in this game, um, which is kind of, it's just the same basically as the original. DS version, so I guess we get to pick a photo from the lineup. Well, I've got kind of brown hair and blue eyes, but this dude's kind of got black hair and blue eyes. I guess I'm just going to go for the brown hair guy. Yeah, 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 I'll go for that. And we're obviously known as the Mr. Oh my god, it feels so weird playing this on the Switch. I've not played my Switch in a while. Mr. Sandy. There we go. Yes, it is. Okay, so you're Mr. Sandy. A fine name, that is. Thank you very much, Professor Rowe. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Yeah, I'm just going to call him Barry. That is his actual name. Um, so I'll just kind of keep that the way it is. If I remember right, that is. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, Barry. Barry, is that, a, is that your friend's name? Yes, it is. Oh, he's technically your rival, isn't he? So, I don't really know how that's a friend, but okay. Well, friendly rival. There you go. So, alright, Mr. Sandy, the time is cut. The very own tale of grand adventure. 
adventure is about to unfold on your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. Thank you very much, Mister. Mister, he's a professor, but still, thank you very much, Professor Brown. And the software was closed because of an error. Ah, how do we do all this again? Right, we're kind of back to where we left off without an error, hopefully. We should say, yeah, it's not error this time. Thankfully, despite the exploration, the team's best effort is the rare, oddly coloured Pokemon eluded detection. The rumoured Red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleeting it to the crestfallen team. Okay. Ah, oh, it's on the telly. That concludes our special report, search for the Red Gyarados. So if you guys don't know, well, you should know if you're a like, big Pokemon fan by now, we first get kind of introduced to the Red Gyarados um, within Pokemon Silver and Gold, as well as Crystal that came later on. So I'm glad to see that the Red Gyarados is still going strong. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Smash that, oh my god, I've got a switch. I think I can stream oh, streaming game. It's the latest game console on Nintendo Switch. Nice. People live alongside Pokemon in this world. The people that battle Pokemon are called Pokemon trainers. Right, how do I come back? Right, so it's X in this game. So the, one of the first things that you want to do. Fast. I don't normally give nicknames, so I'm going to turn that off. Right, right every, that, that should be fine. If anything else is kind of a bit off, then again, I'll change it. Now, I have a, a mystery gift to redeem, but... I think I need to save this first, actually. So, I might just do that just now. If I let me, I don't think I've unlocked all oh, the R to save, that's why. Save your progress. Progress has been saved. Right, so what I'm going to do is close this just now. And I'm going to restart it. Type in the free code that I got and get the mystery gift. And then we'll continue. Right, okay. Um. <laughs> I kind of didn't actually need to restart the game there, I'm an absolute idiot. Uh, and these games that you kind of, you just press the menu button that's in there. Which, that was just so <laughs> coincidental. Don't, don't worry, I'll cut that bit, man. I'm an idiot, so. Mum, hello mum. Uh, Mr. Sandy, Barry came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. I wonder what's happening. Oh, there's a big chance here on the table. You know how impatient Barry is, he took off before I could even ask what it was about. Here we are at this contest with the guest star of the show and today's normal rank cleverness contest is Wesley, who won with his particular well grown Pokemon. That's all the time we have today. Let's meet again. So I'm guessing that was a chance of Oh yes, Mr. Sandy, we're going to the tall grass while Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So... Alright, okay. Thanks for the, the reminder, Mum. I'm clearly nowhere near um, <laughs> Pokemon Master just yet. Okay, I've not even got my first Pokemon key, so... I don't know if you can scream. Technology just blows me away. I mean, you can now play with people around the world wirelessly. I know back in my day with the old school <laughs> Game Boy Color they needed a cable. Return to the town the next town over. They say he was gone for four long years. I wonder if he found some amazing Pokemon while he was gone. Um, he probably did. Listen, listen, Mr. Sandy, I want a cute Pokemon. Um, right, okay. See, to be fair, darling, um, I can't really do that because unfortunately I don't even have my own. I'm guessing Barry's house is to the, the left there. It's true that when Pokemon do attack people sometimes, however, Pokemon also let you become friends with them. Yeah, I think the friendship stuff kind of is it's a lot in this game, like, a lot. it does revolve around it. Um, it seems like happiness level stuff, obviously I've watched a few videos before I even started doing this myself, so... Um, you're off to hang out with Barry again, right? You two are sure to... Yeah, 
Yeah, Mitch Mills, buddy. Best friend. So this is going to be a little... Oh, thud. There's Barry. What was that about? Oh, he must have said I'm going to the lake. You should come to it and be comfortable. I'm finding you one million if you're late. Jeez, man. Ha! <laughs> he said Jesus. Oh, jeez, forgot something. I wonder what you forgot, was it like your, your watch, your PDA thing? I'm not sure. Let's talk to Barry's mum. Oh hi Sandy, are you looking for Barry? He's gone, he was gone for a second but then he came running back home. You can't just sit still that boy, I wonder who he takes after. I remember right, like his dad's one of the gym leaders, is that right? I could be wrong in that, so don't... I just... I, mm, that's what we're saying. It's been a while guys, it's been a while. 2006. But, like, bees, man. Like, that's like a good gift. How many years? 15 years? I bet I'll take my bag and guide book two. Okay, Mr. Sandy. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. That's a 10 million poker dollar fine if you're late. Jesus, it was, it was, it was a million like two seconds ago. And it's 10. That's what we're going to do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. Okay. Lead the way, Barry. Oh, right, so I have to lead the way. Right, this is to the lake. So I'm guessing the other direction is to the lake. Yeah, further up the roots. There's always a forest. I was unexpected at the lake already. Cool. This has been a while since I've played this one. So I have played it before. Not this exact version, just the OG. <laughs> so, Barry, what's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. There's Don, there's Professor Rowan, so hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine, it's enough that we have seen. Dawn, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. Four years is quite a long time. Hmm, there is one thing I can't say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve as very well in regards to our studies. I don't know if you like kind of commenting over the, the subtitles. Good, no, no, but I'm just going to stick to it anyway. No, 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 so. Excuse me, let us pass, please. That was quite abrupt. Don, I beg your pardon. Who be on me? What was that about? Those two? Oh, huh, Mr. Sandy, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. Now, what are you worried about? What are you worried about, Mr. Sandy? It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try return it, but who no worry. Oh, curious killed the cat. Curiosity killed the cat, Barry. I heard them say perfect. And the first Pokemon encounter looks like to be a Starly. Wow! Pokemon! Let's go, Barry. What's going on? 
well, getting into a bow combat or this is where we choose our starter. Um, so I'm going to do the one I'm going to be with me. It's going to be Chimchar. <laughs> Will you choose the Chim Pokemon Chimchar? Yes, because I picked that in the original games. So I'm going to stick to it. Then our first battle commences. Oh, we'll start there and catch us that. It's like the best blood Pokemon in this game. So I'm level 5, he's level 2, and the user gives a bone of the same Pokemon that may be a real boost as the defense stat, so I'm just going to go for Scratch. Good idea, so I'm going to go on my attack. Is it my attack? Yeah, it's, 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 it's been a while since I've played Pokemon. Last one I played was Salt. Again, he tries to roll my attack. It's, it's decent because uh, at least it's not doing too much damage. So I'm just stuck with scratch, which will fail to do. Your Pokemon gain experience points. Quarter on a bar, 12, 12 XP. Just for that starling, you see this. Wow, your Chimchar totally rocked, like, obviously. But my Pokemon was way tougher than yours. There were other people's Pokemon that we had to use. Those people won't mind, will they? Well, we're about to find it. Oh, that's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. How did you forget about a briefcase, Don? Huh? Oh no. Did, did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh, what's the professor going to say? This is so not good. I'll take the briefcase for now. I should have took it in the first place. Well, actually, no, don't, because we would have got a start of Pokemon we'd run. Um, what was that about? Don't know what's going on, Mr. Sandy. Let's get right here. I agree. My Pokemon got up from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. We could possibly be. You go ahead. I know I have to go return these Pokemon, as they're not ours, but I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. I'm sure that's the right bubble battery. Okay. Hopefully we get to um, Sprint soon. This Pokemon menu. There he is. My chip chip. This Pokemon is pretty sassy by nature. It's better food. So powers up fire type movement here. Pokemon's HP is low. Now I'm not really too sure if that is a good nature or special hidden ability. Hey, it's those people. It's that old guy staring at us. Is he staring? I'm not too sure. Who are you? Hmm, I heard from Don that you used our Pokemon. Let me see, please. Chim chat and plop plop. Mm, I see that's how it is. I'll go back to my lab. Um, okay, Professor, please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. I suck at voice all this bit still. Practice makes perfect. What was that? What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And he didn't. Didn't he want his Pokemon back? I can't read, man. Mr. Sandy, we should go home too. That gets distracting, I mean, obviously. Um, I could leave it out, but I kind of leave it out to the film. I mean, the graphics in this game is kind of, like, really improved. Like, wow. Kind of reminds me of the like, Animal Crossing. So, what's up, dear? Whoa, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Mario are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sand Gem Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies of Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating, Mr. Sandy. I think you need to visit him in Sand Gem Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. Oh, I know, Mr. Sandy. Put these on. This is finally I can run. Received a pair of running shoes. Go to Sand Gem Town. It's like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much quicker. Okay, let me read the instructions. 
tilt the left stick firmly and dash it out faster than ever before, put on the rim shoes and blaze new trails on the adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Well, I can run now, so it just automatically happens. Time of the game, we get some potions. Why I'm trying to find a starly, but uh, I don't have any actual portables, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I just kind of need to go up to the next town. There should be a lot there, hopefully, we can pick some up. And we can like, begin to start the process. Why did I just jump over there? 
Nails a Pokemon I need, but we don't have any Pokemon. Yes, finally. Finally, it's only one level. <laughs> the first part of this game is going to be um, a bit longer um, than normal, just because it is the first episode. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. Okay, Don. This is it. Our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. The, oh, it's you, Mr. Sandy. That old guy, he's not as scary so much as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Mr. Sandy, I'm out here. See you later. Jesus, man, he needs to, like, kind of slow down. Well, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyways, let's go and see. You see the bar. Same to say, kind of, uh, something like that. Give that chimchar to you as a gift, sorry. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? No, as I said, I don't want a nickname Pokemon. Um, your friend Barry told me what happened in the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it is still young, that's why I would like to entrust you with chimchar. Thank you very much. I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. I guess I would get battled then. Um, let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan and I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect the data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to collect data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Yes, of course. Um, good answer. Obtained in the Pokedex. That Pokedex is very, it's a very high tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you count on, Mr. Sandy. I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. Thanks, Don. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived here for 60 long years, even now I get a thrill when I'm off a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon. In this world, that means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Mr. Sandy, your grand adventure begins right now. That it does. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was a Twig. Twig. If you would have chosen her Twig at the lake, we'd have chosen the same Pokemon now. Not that that matters, but anyways, I'm done. I also have the Professor add pages to the Pokedex, so in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, and that's all. I'd be happy to teach you sometimes. Glad to meet you, Mr. Sandy. It's glad to meet you, Don, as well. So, yeah, um, I don't think that's true, though. I think they were on with the pits. Um, a different one, regardless. I don't think you can pick the same Pokemon as your rival and the uh, professor's assistant. So, yeah, I could be wrong. We might have changed that in this game. So, I'll be able to help you. I'll, I'd be, I'll be happy. To assist you on your quest for the professor, haha. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we can count on you. Thank you. Right, so, Prof. Prof. Rowan invented a new Pokedex while working alongside the professor from the capital region, so I'm guessing that that is Professor Oak. This is Kanto, so yeah, Talented. will be Professor Oak. Oakley, Oakley. 
Okay, Mr. Sandy, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer. And that's the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. I guess it's just going to show us around the town, yeah. This building with the big red roof. The big red roof. Um, with the red roof is the Pokemon Centre. It is a big roof, though. Like, you can't deny that. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find the Pokemon Centre in most towns. Now you get the one with the blue roof. Pokemon Mart, it's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Mr. Sandy, since you're an old trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let them bother you. So I guess the more we go up, level wise, progression of story, we'll get access to more things. And the Pokemon, see as long as they get Pokemon balls, like, I don't care. Uh, Pokeball, sorry. So that's great, Mr. Sandy. You don't need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokedex. So I think you should let someone know. But before you go, heal up your Pokemon. The Pokemon Center will be a lot less scary that way. Okay, now bye. Cool, so I guess we need to go back. Kill them on them. But first, I want to see if there's a Pokeball that I can kind of buy. Just due to the fact that, um these just now, I might not need them, but it's always kind of good to have them in your bag. I've had too many encounters in previous games where I'm in like a battle, like, like a big battle, it's not even just like a normal trainer battle, say it was like an Elite Four or whatever, then it would have been handy to have the items on me, but at that time never, so yeah, it sucks to be me, so I've learned from that really. <laughs> oh, tell should we start I'm sure, but Ah, 
so that round, Venom is back. He's quite the remarkable man. He's been studying for years since way, way back. My son and grandchild is helping him around with his studies now. I knew it. Someone, I bet you, like her brother or something, someone like that is probably going to be a part of all. I think so anyway, I, I really think so. Just checking to make sure my audio levels are okay, he's giving us a big stretch. I mean, the way this game looks, is amazing. He was a bit weird, but... Have 11, why not? Better in my pocket than on the beach. Can't really go here with his son. Um, so, yeah, back to. Can I just. Yeah, we spoke to everyone. So, I'm not going to go into the other route. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back just now. I'm going to try and see if I can get rid of Starley again. Yes, there we go. Count the way with Starley. Starley's going to be the first Pokemon. It's going to come off his. Say as I'm probably not going to change him out. He's like a really good Pokemon to have, especially Pokemon of the of the series called It's a Starly. I love Starly. So if I remember right, um Oh I like that. Cool. Been added to your party, thank you. Yeah, because I don't need to nickname. I like how they've included that option in there. So we now have a Starly. Just going to take the easy way. Back to to let my mother know that I'm I'm basically going away. Welcome home, Mr. Sandy. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest here. Oh, thanks, Mum. I need to heal the Starly anyway. He was a bit... just kind of destroyed there. What's up, Mr. Sandy? Wow, Professor Round asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mum's got your back. I love that pure support. <laughs> oh, I know, Mr. Sandy, I've got something that you'll find useful. The guidebook. Okay, so it's the guidebook. Take a look at it when you are curious about something or have questions. During your adventure, you may find the answer. On the journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. Just, I'm just joking, Mr. Sandy. I'll be alright by myself, dear. So you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy, mother, mother happy too. But please come back sometimes. I'm pleased to see the kind of Pokemon you've caught here. In the guidebook, the useful information for your adventure will be added to this guidebook. You can check it in your bag key. Okay. Yeah, I don't think the guidebook was in the original games. Excuse me, as my little Barry here. Oh no, he's not. Oh, then he must left already what to do. Yeah, well you should have expected that. Your son's pure impatient. That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not a worry. Mr. Sandy would love that too. Thanks for volunteering me, Mum. Uh, <laughs> oh really you do that for me? Parcel. Wonder what this is. Cool. Probably head straight for Triple Life City, so I'm guessing that's the first city I'm going to. Bye bye, Mr. Sandy, enjoy your adventure. You're forgetting something important. What's that? Okay. 
Oh, right, I got a hat. <laughs> How did I not even notice I got a hat? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Dead crime, I'm going to see if Barry's mum's. Then I'm going to kill his head. Super effective hits, unfortunately. But hey, let's say it's the start, it's the start, it's the start of something beautiful, guys. So, I know I need to go up because below is just water, but should I heal again? Probably shouldn't be pretty bad. Yes. Bam, bam, bam. Can I just use the X button? Why are you going the long way around there? I like how they've been putting that in the games now, like the X button just to kind of pick your Pokemon just instead of having to go through your bag. It's a good sign. Especially if you can get the quick balls and quick balls in this, they were a, like they were amazing for salt when you were trying to do the decks. So to get a full deck, like you need to catch every Pokemon um, and then quick balls as soon as you first throw it, it's get like a more of a percentage of a chance to catch it. So hopefully we can get this um, and then in this. Right now my main focus isn't to, to catch the, the Pokemon themselves just yet. I want to kind of get through the story and then the post game content we can kind of grind through and. and the rest of it. Well, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using the Pokemon move. Paralyze is not one of my go-to. I'll get you some Pokeballs. I know I just bought some, but hey, like, the more the merrier. Yeah, it's a lot more fun with Pokemon friends, so I need to get going. Bye now. Bye, Don. So we must battle. That sounds, sounds smashing, so it does succeed. Young Tristan in the
that's quicker than me though. Leels there, I should have just got attacked. Look what you've got. Oh, train of hand. What's it look like in this? Oh, okay. I remember like <laughs> in the old games, right? Um, on the original DS, looks like I've got a head in my monitor. Um, you used to be able to shine these up, make them sparkle with your stylist. Hopefully we can still do that in this. That'd be quite fun. Well, there's no stylus, is there? But I mean, touch function. I'm not playing it like handheld. So, I mean, possibly, I guess. Um, there's a sighting. Thank you all. This time I was just kind of going for an all-out attack, I guess. Natalie said it was pretty good. Been able to like not level two, but you can't do much. A nice distraction, I guess. Let's have a Pokemon battle. I'm gonna go rolling. You should have had that one. Young Stun Logan. Shinx. Ah, oh, I want a Shinx. It's like the best Shinx. Shinx along the way, then fair enough, but I don't think it's going to be a mainstay in the team. Um, I do have other ideas, so we'll see, we'll see. The team will, for, will keep changing. That was a quick encounter. It's a Shinx, I'm just going to catch it anyway. Why not? This Shinx is cool. Yeah. 
Cool, come on. Yeah, he's stylish on level five. Learn quick attack, that's what I would like to see. Man, I need to clean my mono. That's a good electric type just for the time being, so I'm gonna keep him in my party. Probably use the XP share a little bit. Bro! The doof just can't stay out, can he? Like, this didn't involve you, but it was between me and Chicks. The, the video quality is decent enough. What I'm hoping actually is that the audio's kind of synced up. You know what else, sir? You know what else since I've streamed like, you know, my own PC games? Like, primarily, so like, PC games obviously come from the same system. There is no input lag, there is no basically the same thing comes up, which is So hopefully this is this is decent. Found the potion. Oh, you've been waiting a while, bro. Um, I just came from that way. Hey, we're at Jubilee City. Hi, Mr. Sandy. You're catching. Safer if you want to catch some more and do what I said, there's trainer schools which when you know Mr. Sandy you should visit it, you'll get some types of Pokemon. Oh yes, Barry went to the trainer school earlier, well, okay bye now. She always had to have the same like ending script. Okay, bye now. So we'll just have a look in here. Oh hello there trainer. If you get stumped and don't know what to do, talk to other people. Go places, you'll find new things just by doing that basically. Pokemon are wonderful, deeply mysterious. But to train us, it seems the only thing that matters is battle. Upstairs. <laughs> Youngster. Did you know some kind of Pokemon evolve when they get stronger from battle? And when they evolve, they can take on a completely different appearance. Evolution made Pokemon just. Is this just like the evolution is built? People just tell you that you're going to evolve. Like four different people in that one level. What was this build? No switches, trade. No way. So you're quite, I imagine you wouldn't see the need to visit trainer school, but do visit if you have some time. You may discover something. Else. All right, okay. He was just going to literally tell me that. Ah, you can't. Who's this? I'm sorry, the GWS is ready yet. Trainer school. I'm not going to go in there just yet. Yeah, what we're going to do is I'm going to go in and save and heal. But first, we'll just talk to everybody in the Pokemon Center. Yep, they do have like this. I agree. You can still catch Pokemon if you already have Sith Trample in your Pokemon. We'll be sent to your Pokemon box. Yep. Mr. Blast is local from upstairs. You can battle trade with other people. Now, like, As per usual, we need to turn around and save as close to the middle of the Pokemon as we can. There we go. So we're going to save it right here, guys. And that'll 
be it for the first part. I hope you enjoy. So, um, slap a subscribe, like the video, drop me a little comment, especially about um, if the audio sync is off, kind of point me in the right direction. Um, and I'll see you in part two.